what your thoughts are on on Nick Rolovich and the job he's sure. done. Yeah, I think he I think he's done a really good job as a coach, and I think where they are right now, from what I've seen, uh, he is he's got good players in there. Whatever they're talking about in their meeting rooms, they seem to be buying into that, and they've been out there playing at a really high level. They beat a couple Pac-12 teams, um, and you know that's not easy to do. And they've been in some tight ball games, so they've they've been able to finish in some of those games. And I think anybody that that's coaching that you see that from their teams, you respect that, and you know they're doing something, and you know that they either got the right guys, they're saying the right things, they're practicing the right way. Something's going right for them in what they're doing. And yes, he's a character. He's fun to be around. He brings a lot of you know joy to the media days and all those things. And uh, and he's also a guy too. You can sit down and have a conversation with. And I've had a chance to get to know him when he was a coordinator at other places and also as the head coach. Uh, but I respect those guys. I respect the coaches in our league and what they do. And he's certainly one of them. And when you pop on the tape, you watch how they play. All right, that's that's part of you respect what they do, and so that that's motivation for you to get yourself prepared and ready, and make sure that you have everything that you need to d get done that week um, in order. So it happens, and you're going to go out there and play a really good football team, and that's what we want to do. You want to play teams like this. You want to play good teams. It's a challenge. We're five games in now. I mean, we should be ready to get ourselves at least prepared for this, and then whatever happens on Saturday, we'll find out. Slipped a little bit in third down production. On the other hand, in the red zone, you did very well. Um, uh, how do you see this trend? What causes it? <laughs> yes. One area goes up, one goes down, right? Yeah, that's the, uh, you hear me say consistency a lot. That's always the thing we're, we're chasing a lot of times. I, I did think we've done a much better job in the red zone. We certainly emphasize that. And I talked about a while ago, maybe a month ago, just talking about the mindset of the guys when they get down there. Like, you really got to want to get in. You got to have that smell blood mindset. And I think our guys are they're doing a better job of that. And we're able to find ways to get it in the end zone. So we've been more consistent that way. The third downs, uh, credit to UNLV. I thought they did a good job. I thought they played us well in those situations. We will go back and we've evaluated it. We know why. And we know there were some things that we left out there on the table, too, we could have hit. I mean, there was opportunities there that we had hit some of those plays we just didn't hit that night. So I don't think – I'm always concerned about when we see numbers like that, but I'm not going to say what we're doing is not, is not good enough as far as how we're getting ourselves ready to play. We've got to execute in those situations, and, and we've got to clean up a few things as coaches and how we – put the schemes together, but I know we can fix that. I know we identified it very quickly. You know, guys were on the plane, coaches pulled out their iPads to start to watch it. And it's like, bang, there it is, bang. And you know the answers. It's not like you're sitting there going, oh man, that should have been there. And all. it's just like, hey, that was what we did. This is why it happened. Here's the fix. And this is what we have to practice. And then like anything, you're focused on red zone. I mean, some sometimes in practice, your time spent and it might even be five minutes. It's five minutes more on red zone. It's five minutes less on third downs. 